वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंदुसम श्रीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोत गोपीजन सामुक्त बिंदा वाचाकुतुर्वश्चिंदुदेवच पतिता पावनेब वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखं कौति वाचालिगिरीपाहमहंग वंदे परमाधव बिंदा वै तुसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच कृष्णभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीयपत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा पिभवग्नमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंजनुत शरण्यम पनदीभूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरण यत्दपल्लवनकचंदमि छटाय विस्फुजीत किपवधूष्वदर्श पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि का मी कदा कि श्रीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनीताबदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनका संकर्तन कपितरो कमला वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकर्तन कपितरो कमलाशांबरो दिजरो जुगधर्मपालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाधारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदित दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दधा भावानुपेन्न सदा नरान गंगातरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तपाम भाव नारायणो प्रिय मनंगमदापार वरानसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ जुषु वदने लक्ष्मीजस्व वक्षसी 
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Nayanam Galadastu Dharaya Badanam Gadavado Rudayagina Kulakoir Nichitam Bapu Kada Tobonam Gohone Babishwati Nayanam Galadasudharaya Badanam Gadavado Rudayagina Kulakoir Nichitam Bapu Kada Tobonam Gohone Babishwati गौरीय गोष्ठी पति सिसिला भक्ति शिद्धांत हो सरस्वती सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपाद परमाशु जगदुरु told that this too at the time of taking हरि नाम the whole material world there will be material thinking inside your heart it just sits there it just sits there in our material mind so what to do that in that case Gaudiya Goshti Pati Shri Shila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Jagadguru Swamans Jagadguru told that at the time of doing Harinam all the material things, all the garbage of this material world just sits inside our heart. Now what to do in that case? Under the Guru Anugatya, under the Anugatya of Guru Dev, okay, let it come. Definitely it will come in the starting. If, if we will be just fighting with that, then definitely we can't be doing Harinam because our material mind is very dangerous. On our material mind, whatever we are just putting pressure on that, when we be pushing, putting pressure on material mind, then a negative result will come. That's why our material mind don't disturb him. Under the Guru Anugatya, you just uh, do your own own work and you just think that it is just a material mind. Okay, let it do. Slowly and steadily you will see that your material mind will get control. You will get control over your material mind. Before, first, first of all, you will just get uh, defeated by your material mind. You will be doing 1000 times, you will be just uh, practicing to control your mind, but you will get failure. But you don't fight with your material mind at all. There, if there will be fighting between your material mind, definitely you will not come out successful. That's why under the under Guru Anugatya, just uh, try to pray to Supreme Lord and Gurudev. And before, lot of days before, I am not speaking now, maybe 12 to 14 years back, maybe 15 years also it, uh, back in Delhi, in New Delhi, in Shri Chaitanya Gurumati, I was just sitting there and from Vindavan I just come from uh, Vindavan to New Delhi for some seva and uh, some foreign devotee was there. He just came up to me and at that time Srila Bhakti Balakti Swami Maharaj was there at that time in the temple and downstairs. And they actually they just questioned me, Maharaj, there is one question. The first of, first thing is that they are, we have just went to Gurudev and we asked Gurudev, means Bhakti Balakti Goswami Maharaj, they asked that they were asking those devotees that Gurudev and we have, we can't come every time to you because you are all, all the time busy. So if we have some question, uh, so can we ask Baba? They asked Baba Maharaj, Maharaj, who Baba? Sham Baba, definitely, you just ask him, definitely, like this. After that, there is one news just spread that they just came to me and they were just uh, asking me one question, that there is one very vital question. Now, what is that? When we are doing Harinam, that uh, our uh, mind is going high here and there. So at the time of Harinam, what to do? What we should do? Because Harinam is Bhagwan Swayam. 
सो भगवान एंड वी आर एक्चुअली नॉट रिमेम्बरिंग हरी नाम बाई डूइंग हरी नाम सो वॉट टू डू यू डू फर्स्ट फर्स्ट थिंग नाउ एक्चुअली वाई डूइंग हरी नाम वैन यू बी देयर ऑल काइंड ऑफ रबिश थिंग्स एंड टेंशन ऑफ दिस मटीरियल माइंड एंड दिस लेजी भाव ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड विल कम इन साइड योर माइंड सो वॉट टू डू देन देर इज नो अदर वे सो यू डू वन थिंग you just uh, is a transcendental media a transparent media through which you can try to see hari naam hari hari naam ka sabda hari ko dekh hari naam you want to see hari na so for that oh, it will not come like that so what to do you just need to take anugatya of gurudev just to take lotus feet of gurudev on your head just if you want to just remember radha govind inside your heart but in this wanted state you can't do that you just take the anugatya of gurudev slowly and steadily when you will take the anugatya of gurudev the purification of gurudev by that you will get that pure hari naam on to your tongue slowly steadily before that it is not possible so by this i have already told them and i just got remembered this point that propa speaking that under guru anugatya shri krishna naam just to take hari naam you will you will get definitely mangal ei braje boshi hari naam karo definitely this is not a joke gurudev has given this order to us only then hari naam is possible ei braje boshi hari naam karo gurudev maro ki pa kori gauro braje bane gotru me diya chosta So the song of Harinam is going on. Under Guru Anugatya, if you are doing Krishna, that is very important because Agya means we have to get the Anugatya of Guru Dev before. Apart from that, there is no. We have to just do under under Guru Anugatya when Harinam we are taking that gives us Mangal, and if we are just going on our own. If we are doing Hari Nama on our own and Hari Katha, definitely nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Like that, only a mangal will come in all the four directions. Just like a, just like a chutki. Hari Nama is very. That is Hari Katha. Just. It is just like a. clapping they don't know actually definitely they will take them to hell definitely they don't know that under guru anugatya jab when we are just taking shri krishna nam that will give us actual actual mangal just by taking hari nam prabhupad actually speaking at the time of hari nam take taking hari nam there will be all uh, material things coming inside our mind at so at that time because this uh, we are having this practice from the infinity birth but uh, don't stop taking hari naam all the time just be thinking of this point knowing the unknowingly you should be not be doing any kind of prayer or to lotus feet of hari naam okay uh, these material things coming no problem but still at the time of shri naam grahan when all material things are just getting inside your heart that's why when you are just taking hari naam you will just uh, forget hari naam and you will not be doing hari naam then it is not good you should have that uh, chesta you should have that effort to do hari naam all the time at that time when you will be doing the no unknowingly you should not do you should not call these all things uh, by your own will just at the time of hari naam gradually slowly steadily that gradual procedure everything all these material things and material tensions definitely will get out will cut off from your mind before that don't do any kind of effort for that because you will just get entrapped in that before that it is not possible that's why prabhupada speaking that you are actually busy in that so you don't worry about that you don't get that tension inside your mind you just be uh, tension free but don't do a prat slowly steadily you do that without a prat slowly steadily everything will be done automatically 
and you will be cut the topmost priti on to uh, lotus feet of nam prabhu in the name of shri hari nam you will get that topmost priti uh, when you will get that priti when it will become your topmost uh, priya vastu then all those material tensions and things will definitely become may not get minimized but it will go away permanently just to do krishna naam there should be attachment there should be tremendous attachment it should be there inside your mind if that tremendous attraction is not coming to oh hari naam actually gurudev has told to do like this it hari naam will not be possible to do hari naam there should be that transcendental blissfulness should come just there is tremendous attraction towards agra means tremendous attraction towards shri hari naam definitely we need to do hari naam oh it's 10 o'clock i should sleep no definitely we need to hari naam after that we should sleep that attraction should be there okay no worries uh, up till that point only we have to do hari naam maybe 10 to 15 years back one question is there maharaj uh, i need to do anik is important he is so foolish number one actually uh, you should not do you give this kind of question every day we need to do anik is this from uh, i was thinking who has uh, given diksha to this uh, foolish person every day every time three days you do need to do anik three times in a day you need to do anik Hmm. who has given you diksha foolish so this kind of actually foolish person was there so we should have the tremendous attraction towards krishna naam i have already seen they are just joking and everything is done in their life and they are all the time just joking all the 12 o'clock it is done and after that they are just doing anik are they are all the time from morning they are just joking and after that 12 o'clock they are just uh, doing some anik or not we don't know and after that they are taking prasad so from where they have learned all this sadachar this sadachar they haven't learned nothing they have learned about bhajan so what is the thing is at the morning time in the morning time when the sunrise is there before sunrise at the time of sunrise they you, it is essential to do gayatri mantra hari naam and gayatri mantra it is very very important to do it's utmost important it is utmost important very very important but nobody is doing what to do it's very difficult and each and every day in the life of the devotees if he is a topmost devotee that is sun is sun rises each and every day shuddha bhakti is always thinking this thing that in this golden envelope that at the time of sunrise there is an in in a golden envelope there is a new letter coming to me which is very uh, giving lot of anand to me which is very surprising for me this kind of uh, uh, topmost utsah he is doing uh, service all the time to krishna it's not the seva bhagwan is not like that so this is the actual moral which he is giving to us this instruction in each and every mat and every temple it is important that when he is not getting up early in the morning then uh, i don't used to give prasadam to that person that okay you go go sleep you are not well you go sleep i will not give you prasadam to anyone some brahmachari just without uh, uh, went to some uh, temple all the actually uh, women just dancing there and i when he just came back he said that where you went actually i just went to this uh, i went to that temple i will not be speaking the name i went to the temple that namchari told i just slapped him once i give one slap on his cheek and after that you foolish you are actually taking a uh, prasadam of gurudev and taking doing nothing and now actually i just remember that there is one person there should be some strict rule and agro where you have went huh? you whom you have actually uh, told you have just uh, leaving this mat and going to temple lot of enjoying mood you are getting no and one slap on his way there should be strict rules and regulation that is called actually mercy that is called mercifulness that is called mercy but other people they are just telling opposite so krishna naam prabhu agra 
to get Prabal Agra, tremendous attraction towards Krishna. And it is not there. Have how this material uh, things will be going out of her mind because Harinam is definitely Hari, so definitely it will give to God to us by body, speech, and mind. By body, speech, and mind. If we are if we are doing the service of Shri Harinam, then slowly and steadily, by that slowly, steadily, simultaneously, by doing that, that Shri Nam Prabhu. Definitely will come in the Param Mangal Swaroop in front of us. Definitely we will get manifest. They, he will become automatically, definitely Harinam will uh, uh, manifest his Swaroop in front of us. Bhakti Thakur already written in the Kirtan as well. All to have you seen this Kirtan? Are Maharaj, we haven't seen that. What to, you are a Gaudiya Bhakta. Haven't uh, done Kirtan? That is the actual glorification of Harinam written there. Bhakti Nuta Thakur writing this. That uh, just by doing Harinam slowly, steadily, with full Ananda, you just need to do Harinam. Huh? So nice. What will happen? By doing Harinam, that Swaroop will get manifested in front of us. And you will just be giving greediness, that Harinam will give you greediness. Like Sri Naraji Maharaj who is actually just uh, without any support, that child, the previous uh, uh, life, is, uh, uh, life is like that. He just uh, went to one bank of the river and he was just under a tree, just uh, taking rest there and he was very hungry and having nothing to there just drinking water there and just uh, at the bank of river at one whatever he has just uh, understood in the for Chaturmasya from Guru, Pure Guru Vaishnav he has just understood he was just all the time just remembering those points in his material mind at that time immediately there is one uh, just a spark of that absolute truth just get inside his heart he realized that at that time it, it and uh, again in a fraction of a second just went away. Naraji Maharaj just speaking, with a child speaking, or who just started crying. Oh, what is that? From where that thing came and where it went away? What is that? Uh, when you are giving darshan, you should give me full darshan. So then Akashwani came from the sky. Then in this birth, you will not be getting more darshan now. There is no question of getting darshan now. Why? He is speaking actually, there is still unearth inside your heart. So that's why in this situation, darshan is not possible. So then why you have given me darshan? Just to give you greediness. More more greediness in you for myself. That's why I have given you darshan. So this, like this Bhakti Bhut Thakur actually has written. It is written there about me, Naraji Maharaj. Vyasdev Goswami Maharaj. Naraji Maharaj speaking to Vyasdev Goswami. After that, uh, the, when the voice came from the sky, it is that that Kasai, this Hanarth is still not gone from his heart. There is some smell and marking of that Hanarth still inside his heart. heart. It has not gone yet fully. When that it then anarth mukta vastha, when he will just get that, no anarth will be there inside his heart. Then only those who are kuyogi, kuyogi means those you, whose yoga, whose meditation, like Pajendra Moksham, it is there. That on the basis of that, only we can understand this point. This in Kajendra Moksha, it is written. So when we'll be just discussing it uh, and by the Kripa of Guru Varga from where this kind of vichar will come. So it is actually written in uh, Gajendra Moksha. That is the actual Kripa of Bhagwan. Here it is written for to do Harinam it is not at all possible for you to do Darshan of Harinam. Not, not at all possible in an Arthi Yukta 
when the earth will be going only then it is possible but now it is not possible it is there written in gajendra moksha also regarding this same thing that where report is written there means that whatever bhajan you are doing that according to that that kasai that smell that marking is becoming permanent that when we are doing some kitchen sometimes in between the kitchen whether we see na that uh, rice has just gone uh, become hard or not soft or not so by this actually we can just understand whether we can just cannot estimate that we can have that which are that aprakrit which are that it means that that uh, whatever anarth is there inside our heart or uh, just slowly steadily by doing bhajan we just need to uh, get that marking off from our heart and we should get that uh, nirmul avastha yog means that uh, that not that yog well but that bhakti yog is there inside our heart that is bhakti yog all yog is just a common term which is used here so yog randit ka sai means In an earthy upto vasta, you will not be getting the shud nam from your but, um, um, tongue, and when you will not be calling me, then how you will get uh, uh, darshan? It is not at all possible to get darshan. So all these which are is there actually. Prabhupada is speaking that by body, speech, and mind, Shri Hari Nam Prabhu to serve Shri Hari Nam Prabhu, Shri Nami. definitely will uh, manifest his swarup in front of us definitely will do that dekhai ni jo rupa guno chitta hari loi ni jo paash ye kirtan mein it is written in kirtan you know like this it is written. so the glorification of uh, hari naam hamara guru varga our guru varga has just told this vichar that this shri shiksha stakam of mahaprabhu what has given to us the shlok which i have already started with today that is uh, very uh, topmost shlok of shri shiksha stakam so in which uh, avastha in which condition you will go when all those uh, when you will be started crying and those tears will come on to your in your eyes and you will be doing hari naam at the same time so that is a topmost leela you see very topmost thing it is it is to get this it is very very you are very very lucky when you get this condition in your life so all our guru varg all our gorya guru varg they are taking uh, this which are we have already heard from their lotus mouth we have heard this which are also that this shiksha ashtakam this is shiksha ashtakam what it is this is shiksha ashtakam this is actually this is actually the conclusion of all the goswami logs what they have just uh, studied and that is the actual source actual conclusive source of all the gorya philosophy of the gorya darshan it is a conclusive source all vichar ka ye vichar all vichar actually it is the main thing main root it means shikshashtakam from shikshashtakam we can we can get the vichar of all the shastras we can get through shikshashtakam all the vichar so shikshashtakam in that all the actual source of shastra conclusive shastra is written and in just by expanding it all the kripa of sadgo swami we can get it and yesterday also i have spoken this point that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu from beginning till the end he was just giving the glorification of hari naam in order to manifest that he has just all the efforts for that mahaprabhu jahan mahaprabhu wherever he went whether he has went to south india whether he went to north india wherever he has went whether up before taking sanyas jab Uh, when he has just went to Bangladesh, 
there also one time all the time mahaprabhu is glorifying harinam everywhere whether in front of subuddhi uh, subuddhi by the uh, support of haridas thakur when he just got abirbhav from there only he is just glorifying harinam till the end he is glorifying harinam want to manifest the glorification of harinam everywhere he has done harinam on his own and that is the actual preaching of mahaprabhu there is not a single thing there where we have seen mahaprabhu that he is doing something else from mahaprabhu like the gyan karma upadesh or something else mahaprabhu is not at all doing any kind of thing he is just glorifying harinam everywhere so glorification of harinam is top most and in shikshashtakam it is written it is itself what harinam is vastu what harinam is an object what by harinam what can be done and by harinam what is the ultimate goal what we can get everything this uh, unique which are is there inside that inside harinam everything is there it is there written given there so that's why shiksha astakam just to uh, guru var have just to told us that the, about shri hari naam chintamani that all the time we just need to what is that hari naam vastu what is the top most vastu this hari naam is this kind of uh, uh, just by living shiksha astakam that by shiksha astakam only that you just need to remember hari naam and this glorification of hari naam chintamani can be done by the basis of shiksha astakam the shlok which i have started with it is itself written there what it is written in that shlok what it is written that when maybe shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu is swayam bhagwan himself but still by his will he just want to teach us he has done this this kind of instruction he just want to give us in order to give instruction to us he is doing this means this shiksha astakam by this medium of shiksha astakam mahaprabhu actually wants to speak to us that how you just need to do hari naam how you need to do hari naam that is the actual point and by by that mahaprabhu actually is giving us instructions regarding that but still today in this modern material world there is not that much attraction is not there for hari naam utna kuch nahi hai there is not okay he is doing hari naam okay like this he is doing hari naam so that's why in shiksha ashtam how it is just manifested mahaprabhu has just get manifested has just done his grasta leela also in front of us grasta leela kiya hai mahaprabhu has ye apna chhatro logo ko padhaya has just given uh, that uh, shiksha instructions to those uh, his own disciples as well and that name ai pandit has at the time of mahaprabhu this kind of shloka this kind of shloka he has just done has just made these shloka at that time then the shiksha ashtakam was done why it is done what is the reason behind it mahaprabhu actually but after taking sanyas in that viraya avastha in separation mood of separation no not that before that only mahaprabhu at the time of grastari law also when mahaprabhu was doing hari naam and he was just preaching that prem dharma everywhere so that he can just give that uh, absolute uh, donation to everyone he has just gone out of the house to give this absolute uh, harinam to everyone that's why it is written in harinam uh, chetanya chitamrit 
that what is the plan behind it what is the actual plan why mahaprabhu has just uh, has done this before shriman mahaprabhu in his grast kal that for the uh, human civilization he wants to give these instructions to them it is chetana by the shlokas of chetana jitamrit we can just understand this that in chetana jitamrit it is written this महाप्रभु this eight instructions shikshash to come the actual inner meaning what it is he has just realized himself and has tasted that and just have shown to all the human civilization about this that's why it is written chitan is the amrit those all those brajwasis that prema of brajwasis is swayam bhagwat para that prema apne aap it is uh, automatically jisme apne aap that prema he that wants to taste that he already tasted that praj prema automatically and in that praj prema we just want uh, yeah, there is no enjoying mood of our own there is not at all even a smell of enjoying mood for ourselves there is no smell of that there is not even a small smell there that top most prema what we get from harinam in order to get that how we just need to our uh, devotees have to take the support of harinam in order to get that so in order to just speaking all this which our mahaprabhu is telling us in front of us how actually you just need to do support of harinam all the time भगवान नाम उपाय उपयोग उपाय भगवान नाम करते जस्ट बाय डूइंग भगवान नाम यू हैव लाइक राय महाशय महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग एंड स्वरूप दामोदर इन चैतन्य चरित्रामृत हर्ष प्रभु कहे सुनो स्वरूप रामा स्वरूप दमोदर राय रामानंद यू जस्ट हियर दिस थिंग नाम संकीर्तन इज द टॉप मोस्ट इन दिस कलिकाल दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट इन अदर युग ऑल्सो इन अदर टाइम ऑल्सो इट इज देट लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन why actually in satyug they haven't glorified harina that why i have given this answer why they have done that because for that glorification of harina unlimited glorification you do don't have this kind of uh, uh, knowledge about that and if they don't know about the glorification that why shukracharya has spoken in satyug about the glorification of harina there is glorification but not like that but mahaprabhu has just given a so much extensive glorification of harinam in preached us in front of us in satyog in that is not at all preached in uh, the treta yog to aparyog and satyog maybe somebody knows about the glorification he used to do that definitely but not that much attention was given to naam sankirtan then mahaprabhu everything bhagwan has given all uh, opulence is patience age in this uh, uh, yug dharma so that's why they thinking that in order to follow that yug dharma that is good so when they just know that if they know the glorification of harinam after that just knowing the glorification still they are not doing that harinam in that and they will be just discussing yug dharma in there then definitely they it will come in nama prad it will be counted in nama but it is not like that so that is the actual atmosphere and man oh okay okay nama is there okay is everything is there. so but purposely they haven't done that so that's why nama ka mahima the glory 
purification of Harinam is that extensive preaching, this kind of extensive preaching. Shriman Mahaprabhu has done apart from her, nobody has done. Maybe there is Shri Krishna, where is Shri Narsinga Varaha, Kurmadev, Shri Ram, whosoever avatar is there, no, there is no glorification like this, what Mahaprabhu has done. Up till this point also, Kapilji Maharaj in Satyug also has told this. He has told, okay, but he has not glorified Harinam. He has not told about the glorification of Harinam. Kapilji Maharaj has told something. But they haven't glorified Sri Harinam. He has told something. But this kind of effect of Harinam, he hasn't given this hint to us. But in Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana, it is written in English, Harikatha, I have already told that Bhagavan Nam and from beginning till the end, it started from Sambandhyan to Sambandh, Abhidaya and Prayodhyan and uh, at the last what will be the what will be the actual final conclusion of this that is actually Harinam Mahaprabhu wherever he went wherever he went Mahaprabhu or everywhere Mahaprabhu has glorified Harinam has just given us the glorification of Harinam whether it is in Bangladesh in the at the in Tapan Mishra whether he, Tapan Mishra, Mahaprabhu has not just uh, in order to give Vyakran, uh, giving study, study of Vyakran to others, that's why he has went. And at that time, Tapan Mishra came to Mahaprabhu just to meet him. And he was in very uh, surprising mood, wants to, with full of anxiety, he just wants, he don't know about the Tatta Gyan. That's why in the dream there is one, someone has come in the dream of Tapan Mishra and speaking, and Namai Pandit has come here. You actually go to him and uh, have take darshan of him because he is sakshat swam bhagwan you just take uh, shatter onto a lotus feet that what is actually sadhan sadhan tattva definitely he will tell you uh, the actual thing you just go there and he will act- give you the actual thing whether he is tapan mishra whether in varanasi that uh, prakashanan saraswati is there whether ballabhat is there whether ram jyoti ram japi vipra in South India, whether Madhva Charja, Pete is there, whether wherever Mahaprabhu has gone, or whether Kushti Vipra, Leprosi Vipra, and Kurma Vipra, Vasudev Vipra, to whomsoever Mahaprabhu has met, definitely Mahaprabhu has just glorified Harinam everywhere. And not like that, but in order to do Harinam, that Sambandhigyan is very important. This kind of thing. That is the actual thing Mahaprabhu has told in front of us, everywhere. That Sambandha Abhite Prayojan, Mahaprabhu always used to speak this. Because without Sambandha, serving attitude we will not get. It can be one kind of duty, dry duty. Without Sambandha again, whatever you are doing, it can be done without Sambandha again. That will be duty for you. It will not be counted in service. service. You are just discharging one kind of duty towards Bhagavan. Service is a different thing. Service mood is a different thing altogether. By doing service, that you are getting anand inside your heart all the time. Service seva is seva only. So, Naam seva is the topmost. That is the topmost of all the seva. Because by Naam seva, everything is uh, you can uh, understand. But uh, before that, uh, Guru Seva, Vaishnava Seva, just by doing Harinam, you will get everything. Sriman Mahaprabhu, wherever he went, in Chaitanya Bhagavad, Chaitanya Jitamrit, you can just find out there, everywhere, Mahaprabhu, wherever he went, Sambandh Abhide Prayojan, these three things, and he is just glorifying Harinam. He is giving uh, instructions regarding that. That is the topmost. So under the Anugatya of Mahaprabhu, we just need to do this kind of thing, what Bhakti Vinod Thakur has told us. What Bhakti Vinod Thakur has told? That you just glorify Harinam before you realize yourself the glorification of Harinam. And according to the instructions of Mahaprabhu, we just knew one lakh Harinam. Just uh, realize this, that permanent realization should be there. And after that, you should just be uh, give updates to other uh, Jagadvasi. And slowly, steadily, you just... Uh, 
गो ऑन ग्लोरिफाइंग हरी नाम स्लोली स्टडीली मे बी दैट डे डेफिनेटली विल कम इन योर लाइफ देन दिस हरी कथा कीर्तन योर हार्ट विल बी फीलिंग फुल ऑफ आनंद फॉर दैट एंड यू विल डेफिनेटली गो टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव फॉर दैट ईच एंड एवरी वेयर महाप्रभु प्रयोजन एंड नाम सो शिक्षाष्टकम द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ शिक्षाष्टकम वॉट इज एक्चुअल इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ शिक्षाष्टकम वी इट इज देयर दैट नाम प्रभु वी जस्ट नीड टू टेक द सपोर्ट ऑफ नाम प्रभु एंड नाम एंड नामी प्रभु आर नॉन डिफरेंट इन द फर्स्ट थ्री श्लोक्स इट इज रिटर्न मान ली संबंध अभिदे एंड देन प्रयोजन दैट प्रभु पर एक्चुअली टोल्ड दैट फर्स्ट एक्चुअली यू सी दैट फ्रॉम चेतो दर्पण यू नीड टू स्टार्ट Why? If why we just need to how to clean clean our heart just by speaking it will be done. No, by speaking it will not be done. But that is actual thing. By Hari Katha Kirtan we need uh, only one thing. It is Bhagwat Ji Mabra. Everything it only one thing is it is written. That first you need to just clean your heart. Then only you can get to understand that. Who is yours? In actual, you just need to clean your heart in order to understand that we wake uh, topmost um, uh, intelligence you will get, upper akrit intelligence. Then you can understand. First, you need to just the glorification of Hari Nam slowly, steadily. In those persons, that glorification of Hari Nam, they can realize that, and then they will be doing Hari Nam. And just by doing Hari Nam slowly, steadily, everything will be done. इन भागवत जी महापुराण ऑल्सो इट इज रिटर्न वॉट इट इज रिटर्न दैट इज ओनली रिटर्न नो दैट भगवत भगवत नाम नाम रूप नाम एंड गुण नाम एंड परिकर नाम एंड लीला नाम वैशिष्ट नाम एवरीथिंग इज हरी नाम ओनली नो Everything is Hari Nam. Parikshit Maharaj, just by hearing this, slowly, steadily, just become very unhappy. So, there is so Bhagwati Maharaj is written like this. It is written there in Bhagwati, and Mahaprabhu also has told this thing that he to darpan majra. Yesterday also and before that also I was thinking, talking that in Bhagwat Nam, in Bhagwat Nam there is so much power that inside our heart though so much firing, jealousy is there that it will just get vanquished from our heart. It will get destroyed. No jealousy mood will be there. Only all the time anand will be there. But don't need to do a prayer. That is important point. So this shlok actually, what I told, that is a basic thing. In Bhagwat Ji Mahapuran, you can see that one sambandh abhi the prayojan we just get started with. Janma dasya tho. What is that? What is the actual meaning of this? In Vedant also it is written, but in Bhagwat Ji Mahapuran there is more detailed discussion. Because in Vedant there is actually just speaking one little word and just stopping there. But in Bhagwat Ji Mahapuran, there is some uh, detailed instruction regarding this. Sambandh Gyan, Abhide Gyan and Prayojan Gyan. All these three are already written in Shri Mat Bhagwat Ji Mahapuran, and in Chaitanya Ji Damri also there Mahaprabhu actually speaking about Samanda Bide Prayojan. Just to get that uh, Samanda Gyan before that, somebody if has someone has done some actual Hari Nam, I haven't heard this thing Siddhant. That before getting uh, activation of Samanda Gyan and he is doing Hari Nam, that I haven't heard any time from anywhere. It is not possible. When you will be just understanding your sambandh, when you will be realizing that by uh, 
by hearing it will not be possible you just need to realize that what hari is actually just by doing that you just need to call shri hari like that so in this way all the time you just need to do bhagwan naam with that sambandh can you have relationship with bhagwan after that only it is possible to do hari naam this hari naam can be possible for him to do in anarth yukta vastha when you have anarth inside your heart in bengali bhagwan prabhu speak that when anarth is there inside your heart to do bhagwat naam on the actual hari naam will not come on your tongue when you are anarth will go away that vastav hari katha and vastav hari naam kirtan will definitely be done after that before that it is not possible in shikshastakam there is one point mahaprabhu has just told us instructed us just need to it is just compared with the darpan with the mirror in that darpan there is lot of dust particles there that mirror in the one mirror there is a lot of from a very long time there are lot of dust particles on that there is lot of dust is there so you can you understand that this darpan is definitely darpan but with this darpan uh, can we see anything in that can we see in that mirror something but even we will be just uh, removing all kind of dust particles from their mirror and we are just definitely we can just see our face in that mirror but before that we were not seeing that that mahaprabhu actually speaking this point that our heart material mind is just compared with that mirror only in vedant also it is written everywhere it is written it is just compared with our mirror you just need to uh, clear that so how we can do just by we, we can just clean it by harinam sankirtan because there is no other way no there is no other way to do clean that heart i have already told about the story of ajamil and the siddhant of ajamil whatever uh, yog whatever tapasya you are doing whatever you are doing chandrayan vrat etc you are doing and you are doing all kind of expiration processes but nothing will happen nothing will happen your life will not go ahead you can't understand that you will just get amazed that what is the actual effect of harina but still this actually normal expirations etc and jo prashna kiya hai the question which we have done jo prashna kiya hai the questions we have done parikshit maharaj ji the parikshit maharaj has done that the price chit maharaj how expiration can be done uh, again by doing expiration he is doing again this kind of thing kabhi kabhi sometimes he is actually getting out of the sinful activities again he is doing some sinful activities kachit nivart kachit nivart nivartat abhatra kachit tat charati puna can you understand this point sometimes we will not be doing it from today and again after 2 4 days he just stopped it and again he has done that same sinful activity so whatever expiration you are doing that is not the final solution bhagwan naam lene se just to do bhagwat naam everything can be done with that that is the top most to ye jo shikha stakam so this shiksha stakam what that uh, we are just uh, doing discussion just our heart is just compared with mirror and how we can just clean it how we can clean this it is already that bhagwan is instruct, giving instruction regarding this to us cheto darpanam arjunam bhav mahadvat nirvaparam ye jagat mein this in this material world all the all the all the time there is fire of material material desires all the four direction this a fire of material desire is going on like agony and this uh, agony of fire we just need to remove we just need to destroy bhav mahadav a big fire lot of fire is going in all the four directions this material world nirvapan karana 
and how to get out of that in order to get out of that then slowly steadily i will be just giving uh, this uh, detailed instruction of the word so the conclusion of uh, this all this shloka is that all this kind of pap that sinful activities or sin should be getting removed completely from your heart if this garbage will be there inside your heart if you will it will be there inside your heart if this kind of sinful activities will be there inside your heart then nothing will happen so cheto darpan maan ra so this mirror this darpan our heart is just compared with that and just by naam sankirtan by bhagwat naam slowly steadily it will just get destroyed by quest it will just be cleaned in bhagwat ji mahapuran also it is written slowly steadily when you will be just having that confidence you will get attraction towards the hari katha and hari kirtan slowly steadily when your heart will just be doing hari katha hari kirtan slowly steadily it will become purified at that time you will definitely get the result in that period also so like this so just by hearing this bhagwat naam slowly steadily and your heart will get cleared off when your heart will get purified slowly steadily that will get manifest in front of you hari naam glorification everything you can just see clearly so here actually हरि नाम संकीर्तन इट इज रिटर्न एंड देर इज नो अदर थिंग देयर इन नीलाचल ऑल्सो महाप्रभु एक्चुअली सो मर्सीफुल ऑलरेडी दट एट श्लोका महाप्रभु हैज जस्ट इंस्ट्रक्टेड एस अबाउट संबंध विजय प्रयोजन बिकॉज बी विदाउट संबंध विजय प्रयोजन तत् nothing will be done samandh gyan nahi you don't have any samandh gyan so how you can start your bhajan samandh janiya bhajit bhujit abhiman ho samandh pehle jaye you should have that samandh gyan first bahut pehle se mahaprabhu before that a lot of time before mahaprabhu actually is speaking about this vichar that that's why he has just given the shiksha to come and and has instructed us regarding how to glorify hari naam and also himself also he has just uh, uh, getting that anand at the time of nilachal in the nilachal at the time of last time he was just getting a mood of separation in the bhav of radha rani day and night he is just in mood of separation of krishna and he started crying and he has just shown us in front of us that you see you see how this uh, how you need to do hari naam how to do bhajan of bhagwan just see that he has just shown us that how to do bhajan of bhagwan in this mood of separation in bere mood just need to get uh, into that uh, portion of hari naam and just by uh, rai naam anand and swarup dam oda together he is actually just taking this uh, by ishta gosti he is just uh, taking that rasa of uh, krishna naam roop krishna naam gun characteristics everything and swarup of krishna naam everything prabhu is actually just tasting it slowly steadily each and every time he is just taking taste of that and this kind of different different kind of bhava is getting inside the uh, heart of the prabhu all the time and there are actually different different kind of uh, conditions and situations just uh, prabhu just uh, manifest in front of us and just this swarup damodar and rai namanan is whatever kind of bhav is there inside prabhu that according to that they are just speaking kirtan pad in front of mahaprabhu so this actually sei sei bhave nijo slok koriya 
চোখের অর্থ আস্বাদে দুই বন্ধু লইয়া so what or whatever bhav is there uh, will getting manifested in the heart according to that only they just need to read the shloka in front of mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu used to taste that uh, shloka with those two friends swarup damodar and rai namanand only just to get that taste they not about his own taste mahaprabhu thinking mahaprabhu what this has given this leela it's not for it is not for himself mahaprabhu actually is not manifesting this leela not for himself it is not like that mahaprabhu is just for the whole benefit of this whole material world for those whole bonded jeevas mahaprabhu is doing that महाप्रभु है जन्म सो इन दिस वे ऑलरेडी आई हैव टोल्ड दैट जस्ट बाय टेकिंग द टेस्ट ऑफ दैट नाम एंड नामी डीला एवरीथिंग यू विल टेस्ट दैट दैट महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस that by sankirtan is the top most ma prabhu has told that uh, slowly steadily each and every point our guru varg has uh, told uh, especially shila sajitanam bhakti mo thakur has uh, written in bhajan rasya here where everywhere that uh, secret hidden thing uh, already told bhakti mo thakur has told this that nobody even uh, tell like this in this whole material world mahaprabhu has told us sankirtan that by naam sankirtan all kind of sinful activities and all material bondage will get destroyed it is definitely will be done our heart will just get purified and all that material uh, uh, bondage will just get destroyed sarva bhakti means with every fold of uh, every fold of limb of bhakti sankirtan ke dwara it can be done all done by sankirtan your heart will get purified definitely by hari naam sarva bhakti you will get whatever limbs of bhakti the everything will be done by that sankirtan by naam sankirtan sankirtan hoyte paap sansar nasan chitta shuddhi sarva bhakti sadan udgam aa and krishna prem antim mein paida ho jayega definitely krishna prem you will get at last krishna prem udgam promotman means uh, that krishna will mean manifest automatically and you will get the taste of that krishna prem and krishna prapti you will get do you understand this point so what actually it is uh, written that by sankirtan infinity sinful activities will just get destroyed from your heart and your heart will definitely will get uh, cleared and all kind of bhakti and uh, will get manifested inside your heart and that will automatically come and krishna prema amrit that krishna prema will definitely get manifested inside your heart and you will get krishna definitely it is written there in shri shri chaitanya ji damrit also that this cheto darpan madhuram this first shloka is there in this first shloka slowly steadily we should discuss this point first is cheto darpan madhuram that shlok second is naam naam kari where it what is written what is tranadapi it is the third shlok then tranadapi that is the fourth shlok so first is actually sambandh gyan sambandh gyan first is sambandh gyan cheto darpan madhuram cheto darpan madhuram 
That is the natural uh, instruction given by Mahaprabhu to us. That our general uh, condition, what it is. That Cheto Darpan Majaram, when you are just doing that, just what is the actual, what is the actual dangerous situation of Jiva now? And how just need to clear that situation of those bonded Jivas? And after that, there is a glorification of Harinam done in front of us. And how to do Harinam? with Trinada Pibhav. After that, Sambandh, Abhide and Prayojan Tattva. So you see how much decor- nice decoration is done by Mahaprabhu. Each and every shloka, not like that we have to discuss. Each and every shloka, that inner meaning of each and every word, like Cheto Darpan Madhina already done. What it is actually, this kind of meaning, inner meaning is very important. If we have to do that. So in Chaitanya Kamrad it is written that Shri Nilachal at the time of Shri Nilachal Leela when at the time of Nilachal Leela Mahaprabhu In when Mahaprabhu at the time of Nilachal Leela, Mahaprabhu was just giving this kind of shloka. Mahaprabhu has just uh, written this shloka at the time when he was in his Purvashram, he has not manifested this uh, shloka. In Nilachal only, at Nilachal Leela, he has just manifested its shloka. Automatically he has manifested it and then he realized it, uh, just taken the taste of that shloka later. Before that he has written that. And after that, in order to teach other people, after that taking sannyas and going to Puri, then he has just realized that shloka what he has written before. After that he has written it. So before Mahaprabhu has written very before, after that he has just got the taste. So Mahaprabhu has given and in the Nilachal Leela, Mahaprabhu has just taken the taste of this whole shloka and all the time he used to t- taste these shlokas. At the time of Nilachal Leela, Mahaprabhu has just by his own that uh, uh, instructions of Sikshashtak, he used to this kind of shlokas, this is Shishashtaka, these eight shlokas, always used to taste these eight shlokas. Like, so that you can just go to the gradual uh, promotional procedure of the bhajan. He has just shown us the gradual promotional procedure of bhajan to us. Like Bhakti Nur Thakur has told in Bhajan Rahasya already that slowly, steadily you just need to go. In Bhajan, in Bhajan Rasya Bhakti no Thakur has just told us very clearly that slowly, steadily, how you just need to get, uh, um, how will you be get rectified slowly, steadily, Bhakti no Thakur has told us in Bhajan Rasya. This all actually is taught by Bhakti no Thakur. And the Shikshastra, who has just manifested himself, who, Mahaprabhu, in order to just teach devotees, there are, the Mahaprabhu just want to teach the devotees all these things. Maybe he is Swayam Bhagavan, but still, he is just realizing that uh, by the other, by the devotees, uh, means of devotees also, he is just teaching us everything. That's why in Chaitanya Jirdamrit, it is written. It is written there. Upadishan that he has just came to give us this Updesh about the Bhajan Mudra 
that he just want to teach us the bhajan mudra that how like this you need to do bhajan mahaprabhu has just taught us mahaprabhu has taught us this thing so this actually this uh, actual uh, uh, mahaprabhu is doing all this just to teach us everything just by just uh, each and every shloka the actual uh, meaning of the word he has just got manifested in each and every word and in order to just teach all the devotees he has just done this in order to teach all the devotees mahaprabhu has done this just by his own will he has just become a devotee and has just shown in front of us that how to do uh, glorification of naam and he has just to get that taste and realization of that it's already written in chaitanya jitamrit gradually how you need to go uh, do hari bhajan slowly steadily bhakti no thakur has done this bhakti no thakur you see how everyone is disrespecting now how actually is everyone has approved bhakti no thakur pakhandi number 1 that accord they don't have the adhikar now and they just want to get the siddha all the time they are just thinking of siddha they siddha body is not like that transcendental body that uh, you, whatever you will do you will get that viparja means that this is totally upsetting they are just going in negative direction just speaking negative ragano va bhakti you just leave that i don't want to speak such a big thing but vidhimarg also they don't want to do anything bhakti no thakur speaking so when you don't want definitely you have to follow vidhimarg but you have just thrown vidhimarg but they are actually not uh, following vidhimarg they have just uh, thrown bhakti no thakur so you have thrown it you haven't uh, Uh, you haven't followed the instruction of bhakti no thakur means you have just thrown it if i have just thrown gurudev when i am speaking the gurudev is everything when you have just thrown gurudev bhakti no thakur is speaking this point when you at up till that much adhikar you have definitely i'll be talking it tomorrow prabhupad always used to speak this point in front of us adhikar ka that according to your adhikar bhakti no thakur speaking that according to the capacity this all adhikar has just went into but nobody wants to just listen about adhikar bhakti no thakur sir speaking that this kind of uh, adhikar what we are talking all has gone into water nobody want to hear about this nothing is left now and bhakti no thakur now in bhajan rahasya is written by bhakti no thakur that though that adhikar is not there uh, then he is speaking about his siddha dev and he has done vyabhichar and has just gone into fallen condition viparja is a mind just got out of order so like this actually condition is there no we can't speak anything now prabhupad always used to speak that that it is the actual vichar of shastra only that bhagwan shri krishna also speaking to the that according to our own adhikar you just it is already you can't speak about bhagwat ji mahapra it is written in gita also those git that gita that keshav gosma mera jo always used to speak they all sahajiya keshav gosma mera always used to speak they are ichure pakas padmas jo sahajiya they always want to just uh, they just want to close gita and they have just thrown gita oh what to is gita is all preliminary nothing is written in gita what is there in gita nothing is there 
so this kind of false ego they have this of kind of false ego they have you can just understand this that they have just thrown gita haven't uh, read gita and so gurudev speaking oh they have what to do in gita nothing is there in gita in that bhagwan is just speaking about adhikar what he has not spoken about adhikar about varnashram and up till sanyas everything what is actually the car of that jiva particular jiva everything is written there in gita it is not written in gita it's written there bhagwan in gita already is speaking that according to your adhikar you just need to work and all this bhagwan has to and according to your adhikar just uh, you are just be going against your adhikar then you will definitely uh, mangal is very far distant definitely you will get destroyed this bhagwan has already spoken in gita he has already spoken in bhagwan in gita about this point also according to your adhikar when you will be just doing the out of your adhikar then it is not at all beneficial definitely you will uh, destroy everything you will get lot of disadvantage out of that so what to do in that that's why bhagwan shri krishna has told in gita each and everything he has just taken very choosy way at love you don't have this adhikar that you just take everything and you will just be going into the battlefield you are actually shudra you can't go like this you don't have the adhikar so according to his adhikar only you he just need to do that thing particular karma and if is that karma that adhikar that if some uh, thief is coming he just he will be just uh, that uh, that is a work of a dog he will just be uh, all the that person is a top most faithful animal in this creation if you just want to get that serve, serving attitude then uh, dog is a top most faithful animal i am not talking about vaishnav in general i am just uh, speaking uh, vaishnav actually you can't speak in this general uh, srishti vaishnav is not coming in this uh, material world so we just need to see how faithful uh, dog is we just need to learn that and this is the duty of a dog only at the night time if some thief is coming you just need to get up his own master if some thief or robber is coming that is the work of the whether that work will be done by horse or by a ass whether the horse will be speaking in the night time or when he'll be crying in the night time how you can understand he is using e so like can you understand is that thief is coming because it is not his duty it is not the duty of the horse just uh, thief has come and the go, go, horse will be just doing e so the the role of horse is different and the role of dog is different so when you will be just taking the work of anyone other than it is not good and if you if you will be just taking the adhikar of other that is not at all adhikar that's why bhakti no thakur has spoken like this that you see that vartak parmarthik brahmanatya that those who have already come in gaudiya bhajan and inside them that parmarthik brahmanatya can come but by that with that you in the material uh, samaj you can't go and just can take the adhikar of brahman if some brahman is there then i am not speaking that he will take the adhikar of brahman it is a very far distant thing in from the seven generation up till seventh generation if someone is actually following brahmanism and he is having that qualities of brahman and he is maintaining those qualities then i can say otherwise not in this kali kal in this situation okay at least up till three up till three generations you just show that your baba par baba and your grandfather your grand grandfather is a brahman but still this kind of brahman shudra vichar this is not the actual pathway this i have not shown like this bhagwan has not shown this bhagwan has shown in gita and bhagavat also that according to his varna and ashram that bhagwan has just manifested in front of us this varna ashram dharma inside his heart according to his bhav 
you just need to get the uh, actual uh, instruction of varna actual result of varna i have just uh, i have just manifested varna shingar i have only done bhagwan speaking but i am i am actually separate from this varna shingar don't involve var in me inside this varna shingar that according to his own adhikar he is doing that and don't who don't have any adhikar whatever he is just be crying it loudly nothing will happen so whoever this kind of adhikari has he just need to follow that bhagwan has already told in that so that we have segregated that so that each and everything should go in a correct manner there should not be avavastha because we have just given all everywhere there is uh, instability but this varnashram dharma we are actually brahman it is not like that varna and ashram ma in mahabharat also in bhagavad ji mahapran in upanishad everywhere lot of proofs are there regarding varna ashram in upanishad it is written is already spoken to jawal satyagam also so this kind of symptom should be there for a brahman uh, about according to the adhikar there should be the symptoms so what is in our paramatic line that this kind of vichar this is there in the material life by life whether in our spiritual life when we are just came to do bhajan we will get that with this uh, actually these instructions are there in this material life already but, but so we will be just throwing it in our spiritual life no all these rules are going to be throw that no 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 not like that so that's why bhakti no thakur speaking that if you are actually come in this gorya bhajan and according to your varna ashram varna ashram you just need to make this kind of vichar that automatically at present time according to your paramarthik adhika adhikar now that brahmanism paramarthik brahmanism has come inside you this is actually paramarthik brahmanatva don't think that i will be going to the market tomorrow and i will be just doing all uh, puja part and will just making money mukti no thakur speaking no this is wrong he is strictly prohibited that okay you just need to do it in the temple okay whether you have got the adhikar but still you don't uh, do that because that will just bring instability in this whole material life uh, arjun i will speak will be speaking i will not be doing the uh, war on the battlefield and the club we will speak that i will be going on the tees so how it will be possible you see those who is actually already bangi he is actually just uh, a sweeper actually i file be just taking his uh, lotus feet i am there to do that but it doesn't mean that that he should go in the temple and uh, just be doing the role of the brahman no that he should just go and just do the sweeping work the, that is according to his own varna but it doesn't mean that he should go to the temple and just do the according to his adhikar he should work but you are doing the reverse you are just giving uh, everything is going uh, reverse direction in the material world so how who will rectify this everything in school college also you see some very foolish person has passed a bill that each and every person will all together just uh, sit and eat together maybe something can be done very very uh, he's a passion of how he can just eat there how he can just uh, all together just sit uh, together i am not actually just uh, uh, with a displeasing mood i am not speaking like that he is actually just a very good uh, vaishnav and brahman you just want to break that system that is not at all good bhagwan shri krishna you just need to uh, throw the vichar of bhagwan shri krishna so in this way in this modern civilization even each even a single person you can't get uh, out who has that ruchi for bhagavad naam maybe today put to wasted because they want to just get it on the flat level 
फ्लैट रेट दे जस्ट सो चीप रेट दे जस्ट वांट टू मेक दैट मे बी सम शूटर बॉय और सम मुस्लिम बॉय दे आर गुड ऑल आई एम नॉट जस्ट हैविंग दैट घृणा भाव बट स्टिल दैट आचरण देयर इज सम डिफरेंस सो लाइक दिस इट इज नॉट एट ऑल वन देयर इज आल्सो वन सन ऑफ वैष्णव ही विल बी आल्सो डूइंग द सेम थिंग व्हाट यू वांट व्हाट यू वांट एक्चुअली ही विल बी डूइंग द सेम थिंग व्हाट द अदर्स आर डूइंग then definitely the whole samaj will just be going into hell whether bhagwan has just spoken it wrongly in gita so that's why you don't why you are wanting rectification you are making different amendments no what is the thing you just tell me it is not at all good what you are doing so according to the adhikar we there should be rules and regulations it is not like that gurudev you, you have just become this and night time you become that bhakti no thakur just speaking no not like that भगवान डेफिनेटली विल नॉट एक्सपोज यू you are only responsible to just to get the breakdown of this varna uh, ashram dan so this kind of uh, condition has just arisen now who will actually speak what bhagwan chaitanya mahaprabhu has by his other shacharan he has shown us i have already told you sarvam bhatta chara also has told this point what he has told Sarvam Bhatta Jari has told that you see this uh, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. What he has done, he has he has, he has uh, told us slowly, steadily everything he has told me. That first sloka he has told. That first sloka I have already just manifested that sloka of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu has just shown us that gradual, pro, gradual promotional procedure slowly, steadily where you can go. So this six years to come, what is written there? This we definitely have to discuss this. This kind of discussion should definitely go on. There should be very in-depth discussion regarding that, so that we can understand that. that what is the actual instruction of mahaprabhu what is actual glorification of hari naam up till what point it is that that infinity glorification definitely should be discussed definitely should be discussed so whatever is there in that uh, again we have to this uh, about hari naam There's so actually in depth discussion about naam aparad what is there and there should be actually what is actually how to get rectify of naam aparad how we can just get out of this and how we can just get rid of all these aparad this kind of vichar should be there definitely and up till this point we will just giving rest and tomorrow we will be just giving uh, going ahead today we will be just giving rest up till now and jannam mriyamanu aturah patano skalano babibaso ginano kuman vimukto karmaragalo uttamam gatim prapnoti jakshanti no tatkalo janah nayanam galad sudharaya बदनम गुद्धया गिरा पुलकैर्निचित बपु खदा तब नाम गोहने भविष्यति वाचकल्पतुरस्य के पास सिंधु भविष्य पतितानन पावन भविष्य भ्यो नमो